More women than men suffer from autoimmune diseases like lupus. And for a long time, it's been a mystery as to why. Now Stanford researchers have a definitive clue. We were really interested in this big question of why women are much more likely to get autoimmune diseases than men. This research says that the risk of autoimmune disease comes from your genes, right? It's not something you did wrong. Okay, sometimes people are like, did I eat something wrong? Did I do something wrong? No, right? It's not something you can control. And so this is a basic scientific question, but we hope that could pave the way for new therapeutics and diagnostics in the future. And so maybe that's why there's so much resonance with the public. What was involved in the study? What did you find out? In the past, people wondered whether it was because women have more estrogen, men more testosterone. Other thoughts was about different sex chromosome counts. Women, two X chromosomes, men, an X and a Y. But our research found that it was actually a single RNA coming from the second X chromosome that was the most important. So that was a surprising answer. The body has a system to deal with the fact that the two X chromosomes has to end up with the same gene output as the male cell. So the system in women is that one of the X chromosomes is shut down, not allowed to produce genetic information. And that is done by this special RNA called EXIST. What kind of autoimmune diseases are we talking about? Lupus, uh, Sjogren's syndrome, scleroderma, maybe rheumatoid arthritis. MS also has a pronounced sex bias. Where do you go from here knowing the findings of this research? There are some important steps between this RNA and the immune system going haywire. So understanding those steps might lead to new therapies in the future. This was a labor of love. We've been working on this project for actually over six years. So yes, it's really exciting that it actually panned out and I'm really grateful for the brave fellows in the lab who actually pursue this somewhat crazy idea. Crazy, but others can benefit from the fruits of your labor. Uh, we certainly hope so.